All right, Tommy, you want to do you want to do the thing? You want to do the intro? Yeah. All right. We don't we don't we don't do like a crazy like. We need a theme yeah. song. We need a theme song. There's, no, we, we don't. need a. We... <laughs> I don't think we do. It's not. It's not like we're like, a bunch like, of musicians in uh like, in the podcast like we could or anything. Literally ask any of the hundreds of people we know to be like, "Hey, can you write a thirty second thing?" We should just intro the podcast like this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm down. <laughs> Welcome to the No Time Records podcast. Hey, uh, uh, a, a, spe- a special special edition of the podcast. This is this is the uh, this is the uh, the um what what is this the. The fashion edition. We had the gamer edition last week, so this is the fashion edition. <laughs> yeah, I would say so. <laughs> uh, let's see what we got for new releases before we get into the the meat of it. Um, Jody Faster complete discography tape. Uh, Jody Faster Gentle Jiggle split tape. Uh, Extra Vino X. Uh, great um, power violence band from uh, Houston, Texas. We're going to be putting out. Uh, Mouth Breather, another great uh, power violence band from Houston, Texas. Uh, Level 4, No Nothing, Pisser, Fcon, uh, Dismoral. You know, stuff that we've been cooking up for a while, but that's just for new release stuff. But I, I, yep. I, you guys know what's happening. I'm more excited about our guest, which is uh, the Dylan of uh, uh, professional rock band Dollar Signs. <laughs> Yeah, glad to be here. Yeah, welcome. Dylan Height, how you doing tonight? I'm okay. You know, I have a seltzer. It's blueberry flavored. Ooh, oh, um, oh, that's nice. Yeah. It's okay. Things are fine, I guess. I mean, they're in, fine in my house. This, <laughs> you know, it's the least, the least I can ask for now. Is it very um, humid over there in the East Coast? Because it's very hot and dry here in the West Coast. Right now, it's very nice. It's like, um, what are we looking at? Like 54 degrees. It's pretty dry. It's fucking with my sinus pretty good. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know. Not as dry as it is over there. Oh, yeah. We're literally burning up. We're like, <laughs> we're on fire right we're now. We're literally on fire. Yeah. Yeah. That's a definition of dry. Yes. <laughs> uh, so, literal fire. How, how does it feel to be in one of my favorite bands of like all time? <laughs> How does that feel? Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, pretty good. <laughs> I think it feels pretty good. <laughs> I like. Um, <laughs> I uh, I get that. I I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Thanks for saying that. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, you just you just really threw me off. I didn't. <laughs> I I know. I'm I'm asking the hard hitting questions on this on this podcast right now. <laughs> no, yeah. no. Um. Thank you. I, I think every every the last couple two the last couple tours I think uh, uh, completely yikes I was completely blaming on the blinking on the name we had yikes uh, on heavy rotation yeah on the last couple tours Fern and I have done so it's a that's it, it's funny because like it's just basically him and I in the front seats just screaming along and then the rest of the band trying to sleep while we're like going up the coast yeah <laughs> <laughs> it's uh it's uh. It's good. Uh, do y- y'all got anything else planned for the future? Or? Oh, I wish I could talk about it. Secret stuff. Yeah, there's so, there's some stuff happening soon. There's no um, McDonald's collaboration I, or anything along the way. We're doing we're doing a collaboration with Big Dog's Clothing. <laughs> oh um, yes, <laughs> <laughs> dude. Yes, like it, I, I feel like it hits our demographic really well. People <laughs> just sit on their computer all day. Oh my god, yes. I, <laughs> I, I think I think it's fair to say with dollar signs, you always have something coming up. Yeah, we're. I mean, we try to stay pretty active. Um, I would say that uh, generally we're always. Yeah, we're always working on something. This is probably the quietest we've ever been. Not just because of the, the pandemic, but we were working really hard writing a record last year, so we didn't tour that much. Well, I didn't think we toured that much. We started. Uh, we were recanting all the shows we played last year. The last time we were hanging out, we figured it was like fifty something. We're like, oh shit, we still ended up playing a lot. Yeah. But the more, yeah, but we but still, like, we still are. Yeah, we've been trying to like chill out just so we could write a new one for everybody. And it's ooh, done. Nice. It's like you were. Hey, plus you were like planning on you know hitting the road at least semi hard this year, right? Before everything <laughs> went hit the, went hit the shit. Yeah, we had um we had like a full month planned with uh, our friends in Spanish love songs that ended up oh, getting canceled with everything and 
we were <clears throat> we were really looking forward to going out uh but you know i i feel like everybody's everybody's feeling it i think the yeah. thing that i heard that i heard like the most at the beginning of the pandemic was like it it sucks but it's easier because like everybody's kind of dealing with the same stuff so there's unity in that yeah. at least yeah definitely but, tommy was telling me we went to a band practice uh like I think it was on Tuesday, and he said, "Dude, you know what'd be great right now?" I was like, "What? Going on tour?" And I was like, "Damn, that would be great." Yeah. <laughs> Gas we is can, cheap. We can, Everyone's we can at do home. Our work remotely. Gas is cheap. <laughs> People got nothing better to do. <laughs> I get. I honestly like. I get really emotional just thinking about what it will be like the next time I get to just like stand on a stage. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I kind of think about like what the like what our next like local show is gonna feel like when we can play and not have it be weird like just play a show you know yeah definitely the first one back's definitely gonna be like I, all right are we good is it cool <laughs> is it all good you know yeah, but, I, yeah I have no idea when we will be okay with hosting shows like at all like that's it's just weird yeah yeah I thought, like my coworker were, my coworker was today asking me he's like oh when, when's your band playing a show again and I was like I fucking never <laughs> I <don't." laughs> They're like, why don't you just throw one? I was like, it's very illegal to do so. And they're like, well, when have you ever cared about that? I was like, I don't want people to die. Yeah, it's illegal in a way that you agree with. Yeah, <laughs> which is not often, I would imagine. Yeah, are there anybody throwing shows over there on the East Coast? Not that I've heard of. I mean, I see like the idiots on like the DIY Facebook group. Oh, hey, my my new metal band is trying to play some gigs. Can you help me fill some dates? And I see they're like poorly shit ass like photoshop poster and they're trying to fill a bunch of like <laughs> d market dates at you know breweries and bars it's like i get it like people want to make money and play music but it's just like not the time yeah not the time no. it, are in those flyers do you see the bleeding cowboy font oh yeah often yes yes, often, I would say. yes! Um, bleeding cowboy is uh i mean that's a staple of bad design people talk <laughs> shit about comic sans <laughs> I think Bleeding Blue Cowboy is where it's where it's it's always bright blue or bright red. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't the person who made Bleeding Cowboy like denounce it or something? Uh yeah, well I believe the story and I really hope I'm right about this. I'm like 85 percent sure I'm right. Uh the story is that it was made for Daughtry, the country artist, oh, I yeah. believe. And then the font ended up getting used by a bunch of people. And the artist was like, I made this for one guy. And now it's like for like everyone uses it. And it's it's really um, it's really bad. I mean, if 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 a font could talk, that font would say Blue Lives Matter. So. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a I, I saw I a protein, like an energy drink or something that had the Bleeding Cowboy fonts on it. And oh, oh my man, God, it's 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 atrocious. I want to make a corrupt vision like shirt with the bleeding cowboy font, but like I don't think people would get the joke, and it would just look like a tacky ass shirt. Oh, definitely. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of good like I've seen ironic stuff. Like I think Jeff Rosenstock has a shirt that has a uh, Comic Sans on it, and it's all in Comic Sans. There's like a keyboard on the shirt. It's like <laughs> part of the design. It's like yeah, it's super tongue in cheek, but yeah, I don't know. People might just think that you're that you're like a country band corrupt vision they might they might think that's some right-wing shit oh damn no you can't have that i think the world is a beautiful place i'm no longer afraid to die had a shirt that was just their initials and comic sans i think i could be wrong (laughs) i can believe that they had a bunch of wacky merch back in the day i know that one of the the, one of their shirts was it was like a dog riding a skateboard smoking a joint (laughs) that was flipping it off and then it just had their initials above it (laughs) yeah (laughs) It's like a poorly drawn picture of a dog on a skateboard. Oh fuck! Like I want to have wacky, fun merch like that, but I think like Corrupt Vision is like extremely serious. Yeah, it's I, it's hard for us to like like we've kind of always like because we will both have ideas for merch and we kind of like talk each other out of it because it's not like it's a little too goofy. Yeah, like, like the bleeding cowboy do, one. Like definitely, I would love cowboy, that as like a shirt. The, but the the Hannibal Burris uh, cop one. Oh yeah. Oh fuck! I I that, would like that, but I I don't know. Maybe we we should relegate that stuff to just like stickers. Yeah, like r- real ones. So speaking of merch, speaking speaking of merch, uh, we're well, not here I, just and, to just to have fun. <laughs> we're here for business. 
so i i had so we we talked about the travis scott mcdonald's collab uh last week or the last time fern and i chatted and then uh more merch came out and i saw how goddamn tacky it was and i immediately texted all of my favorite ones to fern and he's like we need to have a podcast right now who do we know that is a graphic artist and i was like dylan <laughs> <laughs> yeah i mean we could talk about those so I, I i have a huge list i'm just gonna drop him into discord and so i'm gonna start off with like the more normal ones and we're gonna slowly start going off the rails so the most normal one that i could find also i just noticed that this is a thousand by a thousand so this is pretty much like the logo which is pretty okay, standard yeah. it's not it's not too bad <laughs> Uh, so yeah, Cactus, it's, like a, it's like a logo spoof. I mean, God. Everybody does a logo Sorry, spoof. go ahead and describe it. Uh, so it's a keychain. It's just McDonald's logo, and it just says the word Cactus Jack. Like, it's nothing nothing really bad. But also, Cactus Jack is Travis Scott's nickname, but also his record label. So we have that. and I don't think that's like – I could see a punk band having that. Like, that's a pretty common, like, kind of riff. I know it's, like, official and all that. Like you could, well, I guess yeah. Like think about Black Flag shirt ripoff, right? I mean, this is like the most corporate food version of that you could do. Oh yeah, definitely. But is is that defeated with the fact that it is also sponsored by the same corporation? What do you mean? Oh. So like that, like if you if like a punk band or like you know an independent artist was to spoof the McDonald's logo versus like this being an official. You know, oh, it's like a parody. Do. Like a parody of themselves in a way. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I could see how that kind of does take a lot of the bite out of something like this. I hadn't considered that. Mm. Um, yeah. I mean, I don't know. It's like aesthetically fine, but yeah, I agree. It's like very, it's very run of the mill. Yeah, yeah, it's very standard. All right, so here I am dropping another one. So this is a hat. So it's just the logo. It's, it's a nice hat. It's a nice hat. Like, uh, pro- probably. Uh, wouldn't be too expensive. Uh, here's another hat. This is more of a, a little more of what they're they're trying to go for. Uh, so how much do you think these hats are reselling for right now? So this is uh, not wait. the original price. This is not original price. Could I, no. Could I guess retail as well? Uh, yeah. Go ahead. I'm gonna guess that the retail on these hats was fifty dollars. Forty bucks. I'm gonna close. guess forty. That's not bad. How These much? are complex, though. Um, like, on the first one, we have a, the Cactus Jack McDonald's logo embroidered, and then we also have a second embroidery on the side. Yeah, on the side. So, like, a, a two-location embroidery, especially with three colors on the front, that does add to the cost. Um, you also have to think, like, how much is Travis Scott merch, you know, sans McDonald's normally? Probably yeah, his, close to, if not more expensive. His merch is pretty expensive. I mean, most most hip-hop merch in general is, you know, it's on the higher pricey, end. pretty yeah. Forty dollar right. t shirts and whatnot. But the resale. The top hat. Uh how much do you think is going for resale? Oh 200. man. Yeah, two hundred sounds right. Uh top one's two fifty, the bottom one is uh two eighty. Wow. I think oh, the God. top one is such a better design too. It, oh yeah, it, the top one is. The it's I like the top one a lot better than the bottom one. Yeah, I like the bottom the one is kind of tacky. But the bottom one at least doesn't completely scream. This was from the McDonald's collab. <laughs> yeah, the the First top the, one is a little more the top subtle. One is clearly superior. Yeah, the top one is clearly from the McDonald's collab. <laughs> yeah, the bottom one almost kind of looks like a, a shit post on a hat. There's like three <laughs> different fonts going on. Um, it kind of has like a like a Welcome to Las Vegas kind of vibe. Yeah. Uh, I don't Give really me, like, understand what the the top left logo is kind of like that stitched smile. It's really strange. I don't. Yeah, that's don't that's really gonna be a, a running it. motif in this. And speaking of Las Vegas, there's these ones. Oh, so this is uh these are uh, shorts. The kind of these shorts are boxers. Uh, I think they're shorts. Oh, okay, oh like a full print shorts. Okay, you wear these um, outside. Okay. Yeah, you I don't can really wear these like in public. That. Okay, what about I this hate- one? Do you like the McRib? Uh, nah, uh <laughs> no, not like this. I don't really like this either. Um, what? Okay, what about this know. one? I got one more short coming at you. How about this one? Ah, <laughs> uh, 
Oh wow. <laughs> Wait, so these are like a oh, these are like a plastic material. Yes. Um I mean, there's a big thing in fashion right now happening where you make stuff that looks bootleg. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, this this is um it's kind of mixing a lot of styles. Like I kind of see like the Virgil Abloh like off-white kind of vibe in like a lot of it because it's like absurdist, but then there's also it's so strange, like the glowing effects on the McRib juxtaposed with like the hand drawn like lines coming off of it, and then the really clean, tight serifed font on the other leg. Yeah, it's really, it, it, it's really strange. All of it combined. Oh, and then the Cactus Jack logo above that, which is also a different typeface. So we're breaking a <laughs> bunch of rules. Like you're not supposed to have like more than three typefaces on a document, let alone a piece of clothing. <laughs> so, like. To- to me, the the McRib one, it looks like it's from like like two different eras of McDonald's. Like that McRib logo looks like that would be something they would use to advertise a McRib now. And then that like Jack Rage and Ribs looks like something from like the seventies. Oh yeah, yeah. I know what and like I kind of I like I fuck with the shorts, but I only fuck with one element. And there's four elements, and it's like I could do with any of them, any one of them. But all four of them is really like a really a bit much. I think. Yeah. Oh, out of all the four, which one's your favorite? Uh, definitely this one you just added these uh these brown ones with the cactus where the McDonald's hat and the fries. I think that at least is like the tightest conceptually. It's brown. It's like the really nice color palette. The brown, yeah, the, definitely the gold and the red, and it's like sticking to like the theme with like the logo spoof and the colors. I don't care about the Cactus Jack logo on the front as well in a different color for some reason. But yeah, those are like the tightest. Uh, the, ca- the the ones that say Egg McMuffin definitely look like a bathing suit. Yeah, um, I thought they were too, yeah. but they're not. <laughs> yeah, why Egg McMuffin? Like, I, you know. Also, uh, that's not a cactus on the one, the most recent one that I sent. That's the like the early, early, early McDonald's dude. <laughs> Oh, I thought it was a cat. <laughs> I thought it was a cactus wearing a hat. No. Oh, it kind of looks like Mrs. Puff from SpongeBob. Oh yeah, no, it, she, she kind of does. It looks like a cactus. It really does. So, Maybe so, it's a crossover of the original McDonald's dude, and then they 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 drew spikes on him. Well, it is yeah, kind of wavy. Like, yeah, like, wavy. Actually, no, tell no, me, yeah. That's the, that wavy what I like Kanye about. West thing. That's that's Kanye's thing. Is wavy. What does wavy Sorry. mean? I was making a joke. <laughs> oh no, it's just it's just the Kanye West like stand culture thing to say things are wavy. Okay. Oh, that is, that went over my head. What I like about the Travis Scott like collab pieces so far is that it's like th- this is not McRib season. I can't believe I know that, and it's not Shamrock <laughs> Shake season either. <laughs> like the Shamrock Shake is in March, and then the fucking McRib is in November. So it's just like yo, it came out in October. I guess maybe the reason why they chose Egg McMuffin is because. They must have said, let's make shorts that feature like the most notable McDonald's items. Um, yeah. I don't I don't know why they wouldn't do shorts with a Big Mac on it. Um, Egg because there's like some there's like some sick double entendre there, I guess, if you're like into, you know, into that genitals. But uh, yeah, to do Egg McMuffin is like really strange. Uh, and yeah, Shamrock Shake is weird. Uh, speaking of Shamrock uh, Shake. <laughs> Oh, that's, you know, I actually kind of like that. <laughs> I think that's. Did, did you notice the little, t- did you notice the tiny little Travis Scott near the bottom? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like that one. Uh, I like that. Yeah. So why don't you describe the shirt that we're looking at? It's a, it's a, it's a, t- it's a t-shirt. Uh, it's not, a, it has a kind of a brown, not tie dye but like kind of a brown stained ace. And then, uh. I'm assuming it's a print all over shirt with uh, a very washed out. It's a shamrock oh, shake. Mc- shamrock shake. Yeah. Shamrock shake. A green cactus jack logo on the shamrock shake, but then it's like a giant one in like a field of. It looks like shamrocks. Yeah. <laughs> and then a giant, and then a giant straw off to the right, which I kind of like the asymmetricalness of that. Yeah, I like. Th- I actually really like this shirt. I don't know if I would buy it for like what I assume is one hundred and twenty dollars. Eighty dollars but... retail. <clears throat> oh wow, that makes yeah, sense. I, I mean, 
Oh yeah, is it reselling? Um, not this one. No one's selling any of these on a stock X or uh, the other one that I looked at. Something goat. Oh, everybody wanted to keep this one because it's awesome. Yeah, this one's this nice. This is a. Uh, I like. I really like the way that the shirt is. Uh, it, it's definitely like hand washed that way. Uh, because you could just you could just tell like every mark is intentional. Definitely like printed on a a vintage style heavy shirt. Yeah. Um, I really appreciate too how. I mean, at least in this mock-up photo, it, it looks pretty close to like a printed, like a screen print that you would do like a 10 color. Like, I don't know if you've seen those 10 color screen prints that like onlineceramics.com makes. They're pretty, they're pretty wacky. I mean, a lot, a lot of time, a lot of work goes into those. And this kind of looks similar to that. So yeah, I don't know. I dig that overall for sure. All right. Speaking of retro and being things being stonewashed. Okay. This one kind of my favorite. Oh, they yeah, this one is pretty sick. This yeah, one is I like definitely this a lot. very nineties. Oh yeah, 90s. definitely. Yeah, this one is just ridiculous enough to like work for me. I I like this claymation Travis Scott. Is that what that is? It's a <laughs> doll. It's, it's an action happy. figure. Yeah. The action figure. Oh, oh, okay, from the Happy Meal, right? No. He just he just he's just a toy. <laughs> He just. Oh, why thought, is that, Tommy? Do you know that? Well, I think some of his, his, his album art, his first two albums, is is him, is as, him as an action, action figure. figure. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay, it's I forgot his, about that. Yeah, it's just his thing. I'm not like a huge Travis Scott fan. I feel like he does a good feature, and I, that's what I get from him. S- um, Sicko Mode is the Bohemian Rhapsody of trap. Is what Tommy told me. Someone said once. I agree with that. <laughs> But yeah, uh, this shirt I love this shirt. Like it's it's very nineties. I like the the like the acid wash, like kind of like aesthetic to it. It's I like it. I like it. I dig it. They went two different oh. yellows on the shirt for like. Oh yeah, I just it, noticed that. It, it's wild how um you know how much more expensive it costs to produce when they you know do stuff like that. Yeah, I would wear something like that if it wasn't a giant McDonald's advertisement. Oh yeah, same here. There's All an right. absurdity to it. Here's what do you think of this one? I actually like that one a lot too. Okay. Um, now before you say anything else, here's oh, the, that's back. the back. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I like the subtlety of the uh, of that design. I like the color of the shirt too, but I just I, I don't know. <laughs> That's we're talking like a four foot tall print of a Travis Scott action figure on the back of the shirt. Jumping so. at you. Yeah, just just coming yeah. at you. Do you like this yeah. one, Tommy? Uh I I I like that color. Again, I like the subtlety of it, but I wouldn't I don't again I wouldn't wear a walking McDonald's advertisement. You don't you don't like him running Okay, what if I could tell you that instead of having a Travis Scott action figure on your shirt, you could have a whole cardboard cutout of him. Whoa! Look, did they not make action figures? Not they're no, they're in I talks. They did. I I'm pretty sure they're from what I read from the article that I read that they're in talks like right now to make to put them in Happy Meals. That's fucking hilarious. Um, I thought I saw a picture of that. Look how janky those fries look. Look bad. Uh, it's six is feet. Is his head cut off on the top, or is he just like? Is he just? Bald? It's just very round. I think. Okay, I mean it is an action figure. It's not yeah. like it's natural. Uh, somebody looked... is selling this for a. Uh, hold on, let me double check uh, my notes. Eight hundred dollars. <laughs> Whoa! Could they, could they knock into more high res fry? <laughs> no, that's illegal. Yeah, the fry looks bad. The fry looks bad. He's wearing yeah. his uh his Air Force Ones though. His signature shoes. The signature Travis I, Scott. I also feel like like yeah. those fries are gonna get bent like to like as a motherfucker. Oh if yeah, you actually, definitely. Like, this up. Yeah, they're the placements on the fries is kind of funny. They were like, we got to do something else with this with this fucking <laughs> standee, we gotta, and the, they look weird. And here's just is a that picture. okay? That's just him. Yeah, there's there's a lot the, of him. Is that the front? Or is that that's the back? The, that's the back, and the front is just like uh, the same logo that I sent earlier. Wow, there's a lot of merch for this. Oh, there this is, is an insane so amount of merch. Yeah, yeah. The, it's literally anything you could think of. Like, did you want a basketball uh, jersey? Oh, I actually dig that a lot. That's sick. <laughs> I, 
I I do that, like the font. The font awesome. is yeah. Like it's it's super that, that's super super clean. It's very like retro in a good way. I'm a fan of that. Looks great. Uh did you want a basketball to go along with it? <laughs> Whoa, that's a really bad mock up. <laughs> whoever, whoever did that graphic whoa okay all right wow. now now this one's a little small so you're gonna have to squint at it look at the middle one what if i told you you could get a shirt of the mock-up of the basketball on a shirt <laughs> <laughs> whoa wait is that wait that's the back of the uh of the long sleeve yes yo that long sleeve is fucking awesome yeah actually. i i was i was hoping uh that we could talk about those two the basketball one because that's that one for sure but uh, because yeah. I did not, I could not for the life of me find a high res copy of that. But that, if you could squint, kind of see that, it it, yeah, no, it, it see just it. does give me like '90s NBA vibes, which is I know that's what yeah, they're going take for. Yeah, the shit out of that. It looks it looks like the old Memphis Grizzlies stuff. Was he born in '92? I dig that. Yeah, he was born in '92. I'm just gonna gun through a couple of these. Um, so I I like to call this the. Uh, this is just a work uniform collection. Oh, yeah. That's like a nice, like, coach's jacket. I actually dig that, too. And that's just the back. Like, this is literally just a work uniform. No, this is this is actually sick, though. I actually really like that. <laughs> billions and billions served. There, I mean, I love, like, I love, like, hype beast corporate mashups. Um, I don't, like, I don't own any of that stuff, but I, I like... I like the idea of it. I think this is well executed, actually. This one right here. Yeah, yeah. I did the back of it. It has like really nice like button placement, and it looks like it looks like it has a good like modern fit, mm -hmm. like a boxy fit. I don't know. I dig that. All right. So, uh, this one right here is. Um... Oh, there's a cactus. Oh, there's a cactus jack embroidery on the left pocket too. Oh, it's embroidered. Yeah, yeah. I think all this stuff's embroidered. You think this is embroidered? Um, it's, it's I think the McDonald's the... logo is, but not the uh, not the menu. Everything, yeah. Is this is just literally a menu? The ca I okay, like how I'm the cat is like... the the original menu, I believe. And does it? Can we figure out quickly if if everything on the menu adds up to the six dollars that the cactus pack is claiming <laughs> that it does? <laughs> uh, you mean this cactus pack right here? <laughs> oh. oh that okay yeah you're right it's the original menu but then yeah inexplicably features the, the, the cactus new pack. item oh so the cactus pack is what the meal is called really because i just called it the travis scott meal and the guy the when the guy at mcdonald's sighed the biggest sigh i've ever heard in my life and said yes what it's what what the fuck does he mean? They serve this every day anyway. It's just a quarter pounder with fries and a drink. Oh, and a barbecue sauce. Oh, I'm sorry. They can't forget the barbecue sauce. What's funny about that shirt is that it's it's the new Sprite logo. It's the new barbecue sauce packet. But then that's like the old school like McDonald's fry cups. That's from like when I remember growing up. Yeah. I think like a weird they brought those of, like, back. They don't still look like that. I thought they did. They, I think they. I think they're a little bit cleaner because they don't have that. Like, I feel like they're. What I have not had McDonald's, McDonald's in forever. Boy, I had McDonald's yesterday. I think the fries looked exactly like that. I mean, they just definitely dug into like you know whatever stock photos they had available. They probably yeah. had the old fries of like. I don't think they gave a shit, frankly, mm -hmm. about like the era. I mean, they put glow on the text. It looks terrible. <laughs> they were gonna if someone's I gonna think buy the it. modern the modern mcdonald's logo doesn't have that like black like i think it's the drop shadow it's just plain gold on on red. oh yeah you know oh, what 100 yeah. percent valid you're absolutely right oh yeah this is uh it's a shame too because the wash on this shirt is is like brilliant the way that it has like the it looks like the sky i mean it's really well done but yeah, the design is absolute dog shit horrible that's a bad one. Are you still hungry? I um, am actually. I'm I'm pretty hungry. This is uh the more normal one, but it's more like a a why would I wear this? But uh, it's no. very retro. It's it's like the I retro actually picture. I really like this one. <clears throat> to me, this one feels like the most wearable of the shirts, if I'm being honest. 
this has like a vintage store look to it, but it is definitely playing off of that. But it has the Cactus Jack logo very subtly on the cups. I'm curious if you deserve a break today as a Travis Scott lyric or if that's a McDonald's old like old uh, advertisement slogan. An an old an old adage they would tell the an employees. old McDonald's adage. <laughs> you deserve a break today. Let's look that up. It's a McDonald's slogan. Do that. Oh, really? Yeah. From the 70s? Because that kind of looks like 70s-ish, like, inspired. I'm going to guess, yeah, based on the YouTube thumbnail I just saw. Something in that era. Uh, I guess I guess maybe back then people thought of fast food as, like, a way to, like, not have to cook dinner for your family. So it's like, yeah, I'll just take a break. I'll just get this. You know, it's easy. Obviously, that's changed. I would eat the sh- I would eat the shit of that combo right now. All this Honestly, <laughs> same. Fern, I'm half tempted to try to meet up with you after this. To oh, dude, hell yeah, <laughs> hell yeah, dude. Get a what is that? A fillet of fish, uh, Big Mac, a strawberry shake, and an apple pie. Jesus, I what like this it? lunchbox. Oh yeah, this lunchbox does look kind of sick. Yeah, I dig. I this. Wish the only thing I wish is I wish the Travis Scott action figure was still like a drawing, like the McDonald's logo, or like the McDonald's like restaurant. Yeah, it's a little questionable that they made this without, like, putting his figure in the same yellow and red. Like, that's just kind of confusing. Also, like, um, it look, it looks like the green the green screen that it was take the, the photo of it was taken against was, like, shining into it. And the, whoever designed it was like, nah, this is fine. Yeah, you can, oh, you're right. You can literally see the green reflecting on the shirt. That is definitely what happened. <laughs> why, yeah, oh no why, why wouldn't they just make it see it's so simple all they had to do is put it in black and white up the contrast so it's like a tim armstrong you know fucking f- photograph whatever, you know whatever he does and then you just make it red like make the black parts red and put it on the yellow background and it looks and it would look great instead yeah <laughs> it's definitely green screen bleed over reflecting on his white shirt and his hair why would they not just take the photos of the act? Why would they? Not? I guess, I guess, like if you took it because he's wearing a white shirt, that if you took it on a white background, maybe that would have been too hard for the graphic designer to pull the image of Travis Scott out from the white background. But like, if he's reflecting no. the green. No, it wouldn't have been hard at all. You just have to take like twenty minutes and get it right. <laughs> you, you just you just use the pen tool i mean 20 minutes is also like really generous for this like you just use the pen tool to cut it out that's just like a standard everyday thing this is the green screen in this case is supposed to save you time but it really i mean he looks like billy eilish with that hair the green and the black the way that it is it's just like it's just like not really working you know if this was designed by like mcdonald's graphic artist or if this was designed by the travis scott team this was like freelance guys was it just like hey make 10 shirts like i wonder what the deal of this was like did they just like find like did they just find like i don't know like b-rate fashion designers on like instagram and be like hey here's a here's a here's a pack of stuff and make shit or if it was like travis give us your team or if mcdonald's just like went an internal was like here's Every stock photo you'd ever want of this action figure and every piece of McDonald's merch, uh, you know, uh, advertisement ever and go. I don't know. I mean, I mean, like I didn't I heard like hype about the merch. I haven't heard it like hype about who made it. Um, A lot of it. I would say that a lot of it is like pretty inspired looking, but a lot of it is also just like this lunchbox where it's like, oh, that's a cool idea. It's executed so horribly. Yeah. Um, I think we all need a nice little palate cleanser. This one doesn't look that bad, honestly. This is a great one. This is, looks like Space Jam. This looks like Nickelodeon. This is great. It's a spaceship with goo. It's vintage on like a washed out like black vintage shirt. Uh, it has great like Microsoft Word word art font. Um, yep. You got th- the sleeve tag. Yeah, because, you know, I feel like a lot of fashion now, to mention, like, online ceramics again, and, like, a lot of uh, the more hype beast shit is moving into the sense of, like, thrift, like, thrift store kind of pickups and, like, vintage. And you can definitely see where, like, they were doing that with this whole line. It's, like, all over it. But, yeah, but just, like, a lot of it is super 
super questionable. Like fi- get, making it look like an authentic piece of like vintage clothing is hard. It's like hard to do, and they did it a few times really well so far in this pack. Yeah, I think it, you're right. It is difficult to replicate a style, but uh, we're gonna still stick with the uh, palette cleansers. It's just a you know nice little cup standard. It's not bad. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. It doesn't say Travis Scott though, but it's a standard nice little cup. No, yeah, that's cool. I mean, it's just like a very basic logo spoof. It's a little nod if you get it, you know what it is. It's cool. I mean, if you didn't, I would just think it's a McDonald's cup with shitty, uh, shining light. I wouldn't look at that and go, "That's Travis Scott." We actually need some footwear with all of this. I can't believe I for- <laughs> can't believe I forgot this. Wow! There's so we got the slippers. shorts, we got the shirts, we got the slippers, we got everything. We just okay, need a dress shirt. Question. Answer. What is that? Are those? Oh, okay. It, are those printed with the with the shoelaces on them? Is that embroidered? Because that looks like they just took them and went into MS Paint. Uh, the, yeah, the mock up is not good. Uh, especially because you can see the lighting on the fabric is like hitting it in certain spots and it's not showing like that on the print at all. Uh, and they didn't even bother to use like the mesh or the warp tool to like wrap it around like the, you know, the fabric natural motion. This, I mean, the mock-up is really bad. I would hope that on the actual product it's embroidered because yeah, it looks like awful here. Okay. So now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think these are um, some of the more interesting, more some of the more interesting, but I think these are the bottom of the barrel. We're going to start with this one here, and okay, this one here might be my favorite ones. What is it? What is <laughs> it's this? It's a giant chicken nugget <laughs> pillow that uh, sold for, on uh, currently on resale for $500. <laughs> oh, it... It's, I mean, it looks great. It's like high res. I mean, that's just a chicken nugget with a tag on it. Do you think, do you think, uh, uh, that's an actual photo of the pillow, or do you think they just took a, a chicken nugget stock, like, photo <laughs> they had and then just photoshopped the tag on it and was like, yeah, it'll, it'll maybe look like this? Know. It's a waifu. Yeah, it's my, it's my new waifu pillow. <laughs> and speaking of chicken nuggets, you want some extra slime with that? <laughs> what the fuck is this? Oh, that's that one's bad. Wow, that one's bad. You can see like all of the all of like the artifacts on like the like the bad cutout of this of the sauce. I mean that's that's a bad one. The recoloring of the sauce and the fact that Oh my god. If it makes you feel better, the, the hand actual the... prints actually still do have the far artifacts and stuff, everything on oh. it. Oh. If it oh, makes beautiful. you feel any better. This is like this kind of <laughs> shit hand, I saw in hand... art school. <laughs> hand is a different resolution than the nugget? Yeah. Oh, I yeah, mean, you're right. It is. They were like, oh, just fucking pose the hand so it looks like it's holding the nugget. We'll take a picture of it. It's like, oh. Also, like, so like I get because it's an action figure, but like if that was a nugget that was like the size of like a human hand. That's like a chicken breast at that point. <laughs> <laughs> norm- normally it's the nugget would nugget. be like you know like in your fingers, not your whole fucking. Not your whole hand. hand. Yeah, you're you're right. Here's some like major 101 on this too. If you're gonna Photoshop something being held in somebody's hand, you have to erase their thumb out of the front so it looks like it's behind the item because it looks like his hand is just is like float is holding this floating nugget there's like he's like not like grabbing it there's no there's no grip and then and then the cut or like where the the arm is like cut is so sharp yeah there's no like wrap it doesn't like does it doesn't like dissolve into the shirt it's just so like oh yeah it's just a straight line oh my god and then the it's just, this is a great example of like the just general inconsistency in the whole line because you have these great vintage style photos with these like faded bit mapped kind of like screen printed like looks. But then you have shit like this where it's like teespring.com level like bad printing and like <laughs> it just looks so bad. Oh, the color's atrocious. Yeah. Oh, you can color get it in different shirt. colors. Don't worry about that. 
I think black is the only uh, the only color I think that would look even remotely acceptable. Oh my god! I'll add one more, like the magenta, or like the I guess fuchsia shirt with like the red McDonald's logos, like a really bad bad idea. You just can't. Uh, it's just bad. I don't know. It's not a good one. Have you ever watched? Um, oh damn! What's that show called with Guy Fieri in it? Dimes, Dines, Drive-ins, and what's it called, Tommy? Do you know? <laughs> Yeah, yes, I, uh, I have seen it. Oh, that one. Yeah, you know the shirts that he wears, like the full full print ones that have like the flames and stuff coming out of it. Yeah, like the bowling shirts. Oh yeah. Oh, that's like a that's a Fietti shirt. <laughs> yeah. What even is that? That's like the Bob's Big Boy <laughs> logo wrapped in neon. That's uh, that's the original McDonald's guy from the. From not looking like a cactus. Holy shit! Like, it looks like it's in the Twin Peaks Black Lodge. Look at like the background floor with like the. <laughs> That's so weird looking. And then, did like a, like a three D generated slime on it. It's, yeah, it's flubber. Like, that looks like, yeah, that looks like I would write a script to like generate that slime. Like that doesn't look like you would. This is this is flubber. That doesn't look like you painted it. I was, like, I was gonna say that looks like a that looks like if I had like an Unreal Engine like slime mod or like a slime like object that like fell and then that's just yeah that's just how it fell yeah i mean you can also see where it's like copy pasted because they didn't want to like generate a bunch of them there's like duplicate shapes on on the collar too it's like identical i mean i don't know like like tommy said this is it's like a algorithm it's like an algorithm made this shirt it looks like putting a shirt into that old google tool where you get the dream machine that's what this shirt looks like with the printing where the collar is does it also print the same design under it or is that that's just a good black? point i don't know um i don't know how these are made i would imagine it's probably because they probably make i would assume that the shirt gets printed and then they would the collar would get sewn on after so i would assume that maybe it prints both that just like to me like i it's gonna look uneven then again i don't think you you care about that when you buy a shirt like this so we got our shirts we got our shorts we got our shoes and we have got a fancy dress shirt to go along with this but summer's almost over and it's gonna start getting chilly we're gonna need a sweater oh wow <laughs> so here's the front <laughs> <laughs> and here's the back oh it's it. here's the back of it I thought, this, I thought it was two different it's pieces. <laughs> this is the meme Travis Scott where he's holding the microphone and his mouth is huge. There's a and they just like put that into Photoshop and put the cutout filter on it. What is this? Dylan, do you want to say it? What's up, world? Yeah, you. I'm Travis Scott. This this my McDonald's order. Follow me. Here's my quarter pounder with lettuce, pickles, mayo, ketchup mustard bacon and here's my fries sometimes i do this then i dip them into barbecue sauce oh yeah and my sprite it's lit same order since back in houston and you can try it too gotta go it, see i would imagine reading that but when it goes to mcdonald's it'd be like what's up world yeah i'm travis scott this is my mcdonald's order follow me here's my quarter partner i like this because it looks like what he would write on Instagram to advertise this partnership, but it's being printed on a on a shirt with like nine different colors. I uh I like the absurdity of it. Yeah, definitely. This see this to me looks like the Virgil Abloh off white line. Are you familiar with off white? So this kind of gives me that vibe where it's very like it's like absurdist modernism. It's um I, I do like this. I mean, I don't like all of Virgil's stuff. I, I like this, though. I, I think this this works. Um, it, it's wild. I don't know if it's intentional, but the Sprite logo is a little over the R and the S. Yeah, I like... Um, I like this. This is And it's like a crew neck sweater. I gotta be honest. If I had this, I would wear it. As a meme, or would you wear it because it's nice? No, honestly, because it's kind of nice. I think I would I think I would wear this. I would wear this. Um I mean I like I like crew neck sweaters. I'm wearing one right now. Uh they're I, I'm starting to like them more than like hoodies. This to me kind of has like that that like more luxury uh like streetwear kind of feeling. 
than the other stuff. And I mean, you know, this whole line, I look at it and it's like, if, if this is like accessible streetwear, you know, the prices are like reasonable and like, fine, like good. Like, I think that, I think if the world needs less of something, it's like absurdly priced, like hype beast shit. But this, but yeah, but this, this is the first thing I've seen in this whole, like in this whole linear sequence of showing these to each other where uh, this actually feels like it might be worth it. What, what was the retail on this? If you remember, I think I have it. I think I have it screenshot. Do you know the resale price? I feel like this one might be the most expensive. It just kind of feels like that to me. Do you think it's because it's a crew neck or just all the crazy printing on it? I think it's the most expensive because I don't know. Like, like I said, like this to me feels like the most luxury of the of the stuff I've seen. Okay, so this was only ninety five dollars. That's really not bad. I mean, for what it is, unless it's printed on like a fucking Gildan, you know. But I, I doubt it. But I, I like how I say it was only ninety five dollars. Like I just spent hundred dollars on a sweater, but it, it as compared to how much I know this stuff could be, I get sucked into that shit. I I have a uh, ashamedly spent like a hundred dollars on a sweater. I get sucked. I get like sucked into the you know the the culture and the hype and the shit. I mean a little bit. I don't know. It's it's kind of weird to be in a punk band and also like do that stuff, but. I don't know. I'm a fucking hypocrite. So whatever. The so uh, no one is selling it. No one's selling this. They were like, "Hey, you know what? This one's too hot." Yeah, no one's uh, selling really? it. Really? Double checked. Wow, Double checked I it. I really think this is the best one. Oh, I also really like that. <laughs> <laughs> that is sick. I really like that a lot. Um. Cause it's like vintage and like a little cursed looking, and it's on that cool black shirt. Oh, I really like that actually. I do like how it's not a picture; it's kind of like a scan of it. If that makes sense, it's just the text, and you can't tell if there is a uh, like a screen or anything on it, like a rectangle. It's just the text. Yeah, that was definitely like a scan of a computer screen. Extremely cool. Um, I like that. Good art similar to that for, for not to completely derail this, but for a Machinist live album, they sent me a photo of them kind of on a. Uh, they were t- it was against a. Let me pull it up real quick. It was against a neon sign at the, actually at the Atlantic in Gainesville. Oh really? Well, they did a live album, but this is the album art we did for it, and it kind of reminds me of that. Oh yeah, I like that. Big like CRT TV vibes. Yeah, and then there's kind of you see like the I I edited it so there's like kind of a softness in the black. It's kind of it's you know it doesn't look like it's a photo like it's kind of all one. I like that a lot actually. I really dig. Remind that. Me that you made that. Yeah, I mean they sent me the photo, but I I, I laid it out and uh, did a cassette of it as well. Nice. Yeah. No. <clears throat> no, it looks good. I mean the photo is nice, but yeah, the post processing really sells it we also did a i don't have a picture of it because it was with only five a month but for no time fest we did a green version of the bite i edited it to be green it goes out to the first five people at their show uh, at the festival we threw last uh last year i really like the this cactus jack one but is that the back of the front uh so the picture of cactus jack is the front and the breakfast lunch and dinner is the back i like this one this is the first one that's like okay actually yeah this one definitely has like intention um same as the sweater that we just talked about like this this kind of has the same level of intention that that does where it this feels like it it bunches with that really well whereas yeah a lot of like a lot of the stuff in this line doesn't like fit it's like there's just a lot of ideas and I don't think a lot of them are like sell really well. But yeah, I, I understand this one. I, I'm with you. I think that this one works. Well, it's just kind of funny with it. Is this so I very little about uh, um, culture and this kind of stuff. It's common for like a, a drop, whether it be uh, either a collab with like a rapper or, or, you know, like a drop or something like that, where you'll drop like merch with so many different concepts 
Because I, I feel like when you drop like a line, everything is like like I feel like it should all be just the action figure, right? Or I feel like it should all just be the, the basketball stuff. Or I feel like it should all just be like the classic throwback stuff. It's the fact that it's we're gonna release all of this at once. It's a it's a lot. I feel like it's it's a it's kind of like just a just assault. Yeah, it's a lot. Um, you know, when I think of examples. I guess you could compare it to another rapper. I guess you could think of like golf Wang, right? Like Tyler, the creator does yeah. a golf Wang line like twice a year uh, or maybe three times a year, depending. I don't know whatever he's doing. And when he does a drop, a golf Wang drop, he's like, just like you said, it's like, I got like this logo, but it's on four variations of socks. And then I have this idea and it's on four variations of a shirt. And then I have these two other ideas maybe that are kind of in the same wheelhouse. And, we're going to do these on like two hoodie variations. And, you know, you look at the store and you're like, oh, there's 30 items here. But really, it's like five or six items that are kind of just repeated in different colorways. And I think that colorways is a way to, you know, continue an idea and like have more pieces without, you know, being like excess in it or having the whole thing in excess. But yeah, I think that it's way too much. I, I it's a lot. I mean, you want to throw this this goofy like Google machine learning button up shirt in here? Like fine, but like, and yeah. you want to do the 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 nugget waifu pillow? Fine, but like every all of it is very uh, it's 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 a lot. It's a lot to digest, um, like McDonald's most of the time. But so there's one more piece. Do you want to look at it? I'm gonna hit the spoiler button. Okay, so this is the back. Okay. Give me a sec. And here's the front. (laughs) (laughs) I like that one the most, I think. I I love how ridiculous it is. That one is is fucking great. There's true intention there. What do you think you can get that printed as? What else? What other what other object do you think you could get that as? Oh, there's all there's multiple objects. Oh, um, I'm. But what other? I'm gonna what assume other... you can get that on a crew neck sweater. Um, how about a rug? Yep. The how and much it costs? Oh rug. my god, it's three hundred and fifty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is a lot. Whoa, that? that's kind of sick though. Can you imagine putting that in your kitchen? I feel like you wouldn't want to step on it for that much money. Rugs are no, expensive. Wait, no, rugs are super expensive. That's like a pretty normal price for a rug. Oh, definitely. I mean, it's a Travis Scott rug. I was gonna say, what kind of rugs do you do you buy? Three hundred and fifty dollars for a rug. I mean, I don't buy I don't buy rugs like that. But you go to I don't know. You go to a uh, furniture store. I mean, they're pretty expensive. How big is it? Do you know? That's a that's a good question. I think that's that's the most important question concerning price. I would think it was probably like larger than a doormat, but not something that you would like. It's not like your room. It's not like going to fill a room. I feel like it's like a large doormat. That would be my guess. I would hope. I mean, that there has to be sizing, right? Like, can we look that up? I'm going to look it up. Travis Scott, right? Oh, it's only three feet. That's not that big, right? Because I'm like, oh. so I'm six feet, so it's like half of me. No, yeah. I mean, that's like a big doormat. Yeah, that's pretty small. All right, so there is one more thing, but you all need to click on it. Someone's selling just the, the poster for $200. Oh, on Grailed? Oh, this site's a fucking joke, though. Yeah. Uh- it's just uh, the promotional poster, like no, that they uh, ad- used to advertise outside. This is, this is ridiculous. I mean, I've seen shit on this website, like, sh- I- I've seen like shirts go up for sale, like drops, for like you know, like a- like a sixty dollar t shirt. Day they get it, they'll put it on grilled for like three hundred dollars. Everything on this site is so over the top expensive. You think anybody's gonna buy it though? Or is anybody is gonna spend that much money? I don't know. That? I mean, I've seen some shit go for like absurd prices, um, on on here. But yeah, 
in, back in the day, people didn't think to save like promotional materials, whether it be like it was like a Disney thing or, you know, anything that did get saved is like a big, you know, thing. But I wonder if like so many people are going to be like, hey, we're going to steal that like we're going to we're going to dumpster dive on whatever October 6th, whenever this is over and just. I think people are going to be more on the lookout for it because it has his name. I just dropped a, a Supreme hoodie in the in, in the chat with a burning cop car. And yeah, on for three hundred and thirty dollars. It's kind of it's kind of sick no though. <laughs> this type. is some no time record type beast shit. Burning cop car. Fuck yeah! <laughs> and yeah, that is it. That's the more worthwhile one. The, the, the fact that there's more that we didn't even look at is like he made so much shit. I mean, it's you got to think about it. It's like what the big one of the biggest rappers in the world and the biggest restaurant in the world. Of course, they're gonna. Have yeah, I never, uh, I never thought I would see McDonald's do anything like this. I mean, that's for me like the biggest surprise. They, I, they've only ever collaborated with one other celebrity, like as a like an endorsement, like a spokesperson, and it was a Michael Jordan. Uh, you know, and for this to be the second one they do. Oh, oh, and to just I'm I'm sorry. Also to note. The Michael Jordan collab had the same kind of thing where they sold a bunch of items that they already sold, and they were just like, "This is what Michael Jordan orders." So this is the Michael Jordan meal. I mean, it's fucking genius. It's genius. Yeah, because it's, it's it's there's nothing that can run out, quote unquote. Right? It's not like they're putting in a special bag. They're not putting it in a special box. It's like you're literally going to get it's a quarter pounder, which I'm assuming is probably their most popular sandwich. Probably next. Mac fries and Sprite. Like it's not like they it's not like they have to get a special chicken patty or they have to get like special sauce or something out of like it's literally shit that they already have. You know, it's in the same packaging. It's not like they have put a special uh Oh Fern, you forgot one shirt. Oh, this one's my favorite. Oh yeah, I like this one too. I I actually did see this one. Um yeah, this is just like very minimal and cool. It's like a it's like a reminder of the moment. I think that if anything, this merch is supposed to you know serve as like a memoriam to this <laughs> Travis Scott meal, and this is a great way of doing it. You made I'm it sound curious. like he died. <laughs> <laughs> what? You made it sound like Travis Scott died. <laughs> oh <laughs> no! Well, I mean, you know, we're, we're all gonna die at some point, but like this. This uh, shirt is, it's cool. I mean, this is, you know, this promotion's only going until October 16th. And I only know that because there's other shirts that say that. I mean, this looks like there's not much in the sense of, like, um, put the receipt on a shirt. Let's see how it looks. I wonder if this was from the get-go, or because I think it's just a plain brown shirt. I don't think there's uh... anything else on it. Yeah, the photo's, like, kind of lower quality because it was a screenshot on my phone, but I don't think it's a wash or anything. Well, you notice how the print is also, like, centered on the, on, like, the diaphragm, like, on the chest? It feels like this shirt is also it goes hand in hand with like the the one we also liked the scan of the screen. It's yeah. this is like the paper that comes out of the machine that makes the order. Yeah. So this is you know once again just like the bigger conversation of like is this is there too much shit in this drop? And the answer is definitely yes. But like this <laughs> this is a great companion piece to like that other one that we liked. So it's like there's good shit here, you know. There's like definitely, but it's just too much. All right, I sent Tommy a picture, and then we're gonna end it on that. I want to say is I'm like, I'm glad that the as far as I can see, there's no trademark logos like next to every McDonald's logo. Okay, does that make sense? Yeah, I'm kind of glad because I feel like that would have been a lot more. Dist- no, there I mean there. I don't you know see any I mean? trademark logos. That's what I'm saying. Is I'm I'm kind of glad there's not any. Oh yeah, it definitely would have sucked. It would have made everything like way worse. Hold on, Fern just found this piece. <laughs> you notice how it says non-stop flurry what <laughs> oh, it does oh my god this, this is, is good this is in uh sweden oh yeah it is some dude just got uh that tattooed on him all right so uh, final thoughts in sweden they call it the non-stop flurry that's cool <laughs> That's the final thoughts. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's that's fucking cool. If Dollar Signs got offered a, a collaborative deal with a fast food, who would it be? 
Uh, yeah. I know that everybody in my band would be really proud of me if I said Biscuitville. It's Biscuitville. Biscuit? What is that? I gotta look that up. <laughs> Biscuitville is a is a place in the south east. Uh, it's only open till two o'clock, and it's absolutely incredible. They have biscuits oh, and yeah, it's breakfast. They have biscuits and they have great coffee. Um, we we argue a lot about fast food and it's because no one it's not that nobody won't it's like we don't have any picky eaters but we just have like preference every yeah. everybody likes whataburger a lot but we have like in and out arguments people don't want to go to in and out we have uh you know people we like mcdonald's actually it's funny because we always fall back on that it's like oh it's fine like there's, I can't say anything negative about it, but I can't say anything positive about it either. <laughs> yeah, food. it's like oh, it's, it's fine. Food. We don't eat Burger King. We refuse. Um, we <laughs> would rather eat nothing. <laughs> we go to Taco Bell sometimes, but you get you get run into a bad Taco Bell and it's a bad time. Oh yeah, definitely. There's too there's too many bad ones. Uh, with Burger King, is it, so our experience is every Burger King we've ever been to is always fucking filthy yeah they're filthy that's true they are yeah they're gross every single one is awful everything has sticky ketchup on it and you use fucking <laughs> it sucks it smells. <laughs> all the soda all the soda logos are rubbed off always yeah, yeah always when a lot of people go on tour, of ice. They, when, when people are on tour they you know they they're like oh yeah this is tour man we're like fucking we're like slumming it this is like we're we're gonna go to burger king we're gonna eat all the bullshit food it's like no we do like everything we can to like be as comfortable <laughs> as possible. I think we go to Starbucks every single morning um, or try to. I'm not going to lie about that. That's just that's just the reality. If the, if the place we're staying yeah. at has free coffee, we'll, we'll do that instead. But like, yeah, I don't know when people like if I ever start to feel a little guilty about where we go when we're on tour, I just try to think, well, I can't feel like shit and I can't feel sick all the time or, you know, I'm not going to be able to do this. But yeah, uh, Biscuitville. That's my answer. <laughs> Definitely yeah. nice. I think Fern and I want a corrupt vision from Jack in the Box. Jack in the Box. Yeah, <laughs> fucking we fucking love. I don't. I, okay, I say we fucking love Jack in the Box. Like the rest of the band's okay with it. No, Fern and I like Jack in the Box. I we yeah, we like Jack rest. in the Box. I I think I enjoy it. I I don't know. Uh. I guess we don't really ever. Is food ever really a thing that like got up with corrupt vision? Like it's just whatever, whatever. We don't have, don't have any like weird dietary issues with the entire band that we have to worry about. Um, do you get? Yeah, um, it, it's it's whatever. Do you get the tacos from Jack in the Box? I fuck with them. I fuck with. Them. Well, we get them in the Munchie Meal. Oh, yeah, yeah we okay. have to get them. Like they, 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 we had. <laughs> you're forced. The munchie yeah. Meal. Like growing up. And like I was like nine o'clock. That's not late. Now, like being like a little bit older, I'm like that is way too much food this late at night. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't know though. Like the winter months can get weird with like staying up late. Me and Jack in the Box. Me and Jack in the Box are friends. We are friends like one night a year, one night a year, and it's New Year's Eve or Christmas Day when nothing else is open except for Jack in the Box. I do my. I do my. Uh, my little travel to Jack in the Box at twelve thirty at night, and I spend twelve dollars, and it's like there's nothing else going on. Bell tacos? No, no, that's that's Taco. twenty four tacos. That's way too many. I I <laughs> get orange chicken and a hamburger and breakfast. I'm just kidding. It's just they have all those things. Yeah, they do. But yeah. no, no, no. I, I don't. I don't know how. Burger, I don't know right? how, but they do. The curly fries are like pretty good. Not a lot of people have those, you know that fast food oh yeah they're super they're, good they are good sometimes they're a little too i know soft, because we have, like, the, in, we have to get them in the we have to get them we the get country, them in the munchie meal the yeah we have to we have to eat them i was gonna say just look with us on a uh, jack in the boxes I just fuck it. it's like the only thing that's like 24 hours near us and yeah so like with driving home from a show and we want to eat jack in the it's either jack in the box or del taco that's it that's the only that's like the only two things that are open near for for and i live Del Taco is so good. You you gave me my first Del Taco ever. It, we, it was with uh with Joey and we were in my car. Yeah, you you were there. 
Yeah, 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 that shit was fucking. Uh, did I force you to get my burrito order? Did you? No, no, I just wanted the fries and the burrito. That's all I wanted. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, Jet. <laughs> really good. Dell's, Dell's great. It's uh, it, I, well, it's also great about Dell is it's like cheap. It's always it's uh, they, they, it's the only fast food restaurant that I know that has like a value menu where like a dollar is a dollar. It's not like if we're gonna talk about value, I know we're gonna call it. But have you ever heard of or been to a place called Cookout? No. I do the trash plates. <laughs> yeah, you could call it that. Oh, uh, so Cookout is a is a regional like southeastern regional fast food restaurant. Open till five in the morning. I'm thinking about going there right now, actually, because of all <laughs> this conversation. But you can buy this thing called a tray, and it's five dollars, and it comes with uh, a main item, two side items, and a drink. Now I know what you're thinking. Main item, you know, hamburger, chicken sandwich, whatever. That's like those are your main items, basically variations on those things, chicken tenders, whatever. But the side items are not side items. When they talk about side items, they're talking about chicken wrap or chicken quesadilla or, you know, a bunch of onion rings. Or So you can feasibly do a tray at cookout where you get like a double cheeseburger and have your sides be corn dog and chicken quesadilla and then get a drink. And it's only five dollars. Meals. <laughs> Those are more meals. Oh, my God. It could be done. Uh, cookout is is the number one. It for me and I might, oh my god i might change our answer to cookout from this <laughs> we are go there all the time we are missing out huh the thing with cookout too is that it's it's actually good yeah this is the menu all the food's like really good so it's uh you know weird that it's this is five dollars that's five dollars or you can get a shake for a dollar yes dollar more oh, my, oh In, fancy oh shake god. fancy shake and they have like 40 different shake flavors Sorry, so you can, what's a bacon wrap? A, ba- just, a bacon wrap is just bacon <laughs> and lettuce. It's like a BLT wrap, basically. Oh my god. <laughs> you could get so you could get double cheeseburger. Wait, when it says quesadilla as a main and then a quesadilla as a side, is like the side quesadilla like a half? No, you get smaller? if you choose it for the main, you get two. Oh so you could okay. so you could get four quesadillas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sold. This isn't even the full menu. I mean, there, there's a there's varieties that have like full hot dogs or or full, uh, I guess, like BLT sandwiches. Yeah. I mean, there's there's like there's a lot here. Uh, but yeah, you just get a tray and, you know, you're good to go. Man, you fuck can, COVID. You can add Cajun to anything. I know if you're on tour, you got to you got to come to the southeast to go to cookout and you can do cookout the whole way because it's basically from like Baltimore all the way to Atlanta bad idea (laughs) that sounds like a terrible idea it it is we we just go there once for the day and then that's like all four meals it's all three meals right like yeah they open at like 10 a.m at that point if you're gonna open stay up until 5 a.m it's like why even close (laughs) why the why the extra weight ellen thank you for thank you for uh um coming on i know this wasn't uh, the the dollar signs hour. Maybe we'll, we'll have you back and we could talk more about the music side of things. Oh yeah, whatever. This was interesting. This was that fun. I'm, I hope you had fun. Yeah, with it was fun. Oh, absolutely. But, I mean, uh, what I'm always down to like dissect art and fashion and bullshit and fast food. It was a good time. I mean the the other the other side of this would have just been me and Fern going like, okay, on uh, high anxiety. What were you guys thinking then? <laughs> 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 oh my god uh, uh, I can't fuck this on, uh, no, uh, how much spaghetti am I going to spill right now in front of you like, that's that's like <laughs> on, on, on what was the room number about the song in Holiday Inn uh, I mean uh, <laughs> what <laughs> oh fuck what, what do you want to shout out Um, I would like to shout out a few friends I guess um, listen to the band Bad Idols from Knoxville, Tennessee. Oh yeah, dude, they're great. Listen, oh fuck yes. Listen to Devin K and the Solutions. Oh yeah, they have a new record Just out that's tape. fucking great. Uh, it's called Limited Joy. It's fantastic. Um, and I don't know. I would just say if I could shout anything out. Just keep on taking care of yourself, whoever you are listening to this. Just keep on doing things that make you smile. This is a hard fucking time, and I think we're all feeling it a little different. 
And uh, don't be afraid to reach out to a friend. Of anybody. Get a cookout tray. Do what you love. Reach out to Cactus Jack and get yourself a $40 <laughs> uh, cup. Plastic cup with a logo on it. <laughs> and that might help because buying things for status can make you feel good. People can like people can like talk shit about hyper expensive like hype beast stuff. I mean, we just did it for a long time. I think it's completely valid. But I think that we also have to think about how we consume art now. There are fine artists who still exist who cre- you know, produce paintings, collage, things of that nature, p- pieces that you would put in a museum, non-commodified non-functional art art that only exists to be looked at and i think that we're transitioning into a place where art and fashion and t-shirts as silly as that sounds are becoming a new way to sell fine art and to keep that medium alive and this might not be (laughs) this travis scott stuff might not be the greatest example of fine art but there is inspiration to be seen in it and i think that it's important to recognize how important that it could be that was my independent <laughs> <theater speech>. and, uh, <laughs> i was clapping if you didn't hear that i was clapping it's true it's though you go to a museum how many pieces do you do you see that are from this decade not many maybe one two you know my art museum in town has has pieces from the 1700s the 1800s most of most of it is is you know pre-20th century and what does the 21st century say for for pieces? I think this is really where we're at now. I don't really care for Andy Warhol, but I think that Andy Warhol predicted the way that art and commodity would clash. This is just more of that. This is probably the the biggest example of it since then. I, I think you are the smartest person we've ever had on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> well, I pre- I appreciate that. And if you're down to chat after we're done recording, that's cool too. But I, I really... um. I really think that that it's really easy to dismiss uh, stuff like this as as ridiculous, but it's also ridiculous that people buy it. You know, it's 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 weird. Is it is it modern art? Is it is it Travis Scott's name? Is it is it the fabled Picasso drew on a napkin to pay his bar tab? Is it basically that? It's just throwaways. Travis Scott's name is popular, so all this bullshit can sell. There's a lot going on here. Yeah, there's a lot going on here. I think. I think that. Um, I don't think we'll 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 know we'll know for a while what any of this means. But there, there's a lot going on. Damn. But I want, I want the, this I in want the museum. The, now. I want the arm. I want the arm yeah. dipping into the, into the, the the slime. Okay. If so I want now, the, I want that. Now plane. you're gonna. We're gonna go on Grailed and buy all this shit secondhand. Let's do it. We're gonna. Oh my God. Could you imagine? Uh, uh, <laughs> Get all of corrupt vision wearing the uh, the sweater that has like all the words on it. <laughs> you should make your own spoof of it. <laughs> Hi, we are the band Corrupt Vision, and we are playing a show on this day. We're gonna get we're gonna get a we're gonna get a munchie meal after. Oh shit, share. that's all a right, good idea, Dylan. On, uh, hopefully, we'll have you back and be more uh, music oriented, but 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 uh, music oriented.